circling back to, you know, we got our, our good aunties on the scene, like, you know, um, Maxine Waters and, you know, we got, we got our good uncles on the scene. I don't know if I would say that, but you know, for some, you know, Steve Harvey, yeah. um, we, got, we got our zaddies on the scene, <laughs> like Ron Isley. <laughs> um, and for, you know, another good uncle that we could say that's on the scene <laughs> is beloved actor, director. And I don't know why he said great uncle, but he's a beloved actor, director and uncle, you know, unk, you know what I'm saying? LeVar oh. Burton was on Monday's episode of The View where he was asked about the so-called cancel culture. Let's take a look at his response. Um, in terms of cancel culture, I, 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 I think it's misnamed. That's a misnomer. I think we have a consequence culture um, and that consequences are finally encompassing everybody in the society, whereas um, they haven't been uh, ever in this country. So um, I, th I think that there, there are good signs that are happening in the culture right now. And I think it has everything to do with a new awareness on people who were simply unaware of the real nature of life in this country for people who have been othered since this nation began. Mm. Mm. He, he said something that. right there. He did. He, did. Like, he said a word. <laughs> So, he said it so calm. <laughs> he did, and I loved it. It was getting the reading rainbow vibe. I just live yeah. for it. But to repeat his answer, um, he said, quote, in terms of cancel culture, I think it's misnamed. I think we have a consequence culture, and consequences are finally encompassing everybody. So everybody, you know, ain't above the law. You know, you know, it's the accountability is what, what, what we're, we're, we're talking about here. Um, and I absolutely love that it's coming from, from him. Right. Yeah. This is a man that could have been forgotten and we done resurrected his whole history and said, here's your flowers. Too many mm. people are dying and we're not giving them their flowers until they fast. Here are your flowers. Let's get you on whatever we can. We can see that, you know, he wasn't ready for what's happening. Look at his background. You know, he he wasn't ready for <laughs> all ready. the interviews that have been coming his way. You know what I mean? So I, but I absolutely love Leave that man's back. We'll put the background back on the screen. I didn't see anything. <laughs> so he, Let me see. He wasn't ready. Really He's been in his home chilling, not worried about nothing. Just just, <laughs> just being who he is. Not having to do oh, backgrounds man. for interviews, a uh, Nathan. But he get, um, he get but, ready for for Jeopardy. That's what he. Uh, well, he, you know, know he, this, this, he's been living yeah. his life as a normal person, you know. But um, but yeah. honestly, though, I really appreciate Levar for saying something so simple but so strong, and knowing that he's getting all the attention and everybody's listening, and 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 you know. But you know what's going to happen Just now. Just jumping on any word that he says, there, you know, he he's careful with his wording, but it doesn't it doesn't seem like he's being just for TV about it. This is actually how he feels. It's what, genuine. What, what's um, going to happen now is that because he said this, you're going to have people, you're going to have Republicans, conservatives, white folks, conservatives trying to cancel him because he correctly stated that cancel culture is misnamed. So yep. it, it's, it's just ironic. Like Republicans and conservatives are always afraid of cancel culture, but they're quick to be the first ones to try to boycott coca-cola because they're trying to help uh fight back against the voter suppression laws here in georgia so mm -hmm. just i the backlash that he's going to get from this is going to be very interesting especially in light of the fact that he's trying to uh be the host of jeopardy which i think jeopardy if they had any sense they would go ahead and get him because he is beloved I, and, and i called him great uncle just because it's just i knew jordy when he was young see i messed up not jordy um, I knew LeVar Burton when he was Jordy LaForge. I knew him when he didn't have not, a, he barely had any facial hair. Now he's got all this facial hair and it's all white. So, you know, it just feels like, I just feel it, like we're it, all it, getting so. It's nice, but he's giving uncle vibes. He's still at the yeah. uncle, the uncle yeah. range, you know.